you're coming in, let me know where you're tuning in from. Where are you joining the prayers from this morning? Hallelujah. Glory to the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, saints. Good morning, everybody. Good morning on my left, on my right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is an awesome day 24 of our 31 days of grace and favor. We are charging forward. We are moving forward. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Bring everybody. Tell everybody we are live here. Hallelujah. 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 I see you guys from TikTok. You know how we do it. We start tapping on those screens. We make sure we increase the likes. We make sure as every single like represents a soul that is being depopulated from hell, that uh, we are populating the heaven's kingdom. We are adding, we are soul winners. And this morning, somebody is going to be anointed for excellence. Talk to me, somebody. Thank you so much for everybody who has decided to wake up this morning and take charge of their destiny. Fedzi, good morning. I see you. Shala, I see you. I see you, Mama with boys. I see you, Wanda. Good morning. God bless you. God bless you. As you are charging in, if you don't want to tell me where you're coming from, at least tell me excellence. I'm empowered for excellence. Hallelujah. Is everybody ready to be empowered for excellence this morning? Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day of excellence. This is the day we get empowered with excellence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we welcome you into this service. We welcome every single person that is joining our meeting this morning that has come to the altar of protocol breaking prayers that is going to charge up their spirit with protocol breaking prayers that is going to leave here with an anointing for excellence in the name of Jesus. Margaret is already shooting off. He says, I am empowered for excellence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me welcome again officially those of you who are on Facebook and on YouTube. We are ready for you. Ready on my left, ready on my right, ready in my center. Every single body. Thank you so much. Anna comes in blazing and says, I'm a giver. I'm going to open and enter his courts with thanksgiving in my heart and express it with my substance in the name of Jesus Christ. This morning, I want you to shout, I am empowered for excellence. I am empowered for excellence. I am empowered for excellence. Oh, you know that the theme of today is, oh Lord, empower me for excellence. Oh Lord, empower me for excellence. Empower me for excellence in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody shout that prayer point in the comment section. Oh Lord, empower me for excellence. I let me shoot. I see we're already fast spent five minutes already in and people are already fired up and you are tapping on that screen. Oh Lord, empower me for excellence. I want to see most of those comments so that I know that you are ready. Show me you're ready on my left. TikTok, are you ready for me? Oh Lord, empower me for excellence. Empower me for excellence. Hallelujah. Let me begin the scripture reading this morning. It says that for one to one is given by the spirit of the word of wisdom to another word of knowledge, but that same spirit, hallelujah. That is first Corinthians 12 verse eight, but let me get you warmer at least as you are typing, oh Lord, empower me for excellence. First Samuel chapter two, verse 26 says, but the boy Samuel continued to grow in stature and in favor with the Lord. So as you are typing, oh Lord, empower me with excellence. That same anointing that was on Samuel that helped him to grow in stature, that helped him to grow in success, that helped him to grow in recognition, that helped him to achieve his dreams. He will also enable you to grow in favor with the Lord and with men. Somebody declare it with me. I am favored by God and I'm favored by men by virtue of the anointing of excellence, by virtue of this empowerment of excellence this morning. 
morning, hallelujah, somebody, but the Lord empowered fortune with to grow in stature and in favor with God and with men. I want you to replace your name there in Samuel chapter, first Samuel chapter two, verse 26. Oh God, empower me with excellence. And the Lord empowered Hilda with uh, excellence. You continue to grow in stature and you continue to grow with favor with God and in favor with men in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who is here on Mara Official who is saying I'm ready to grow in stature? I'm ready to grow in favor with God and with men. Talk to me, somebody. And as I trek with the word of God, the word of God says Jesus kept on increasing in wisdom in the book of Luke chapter 2. And he says, God, Jesus continued to grow in stature and in favor with God and with men. So I've got the second witness. Somebody talk to me. Hallelujah. If I got the second witness, I'm getting excited. I'm already getting to ready to bounce. I'm bouncing in the spirit and I'm accelerating. If Samuel had that same favor with God and with men, if Jesus had the same favor with God and with men, then therefore I'm a candidate for favor with God and with men. Talk to me, somebody. As the word, as the spirit of the Lord takes me and to track on the word of God. And I move on to Daniel chapter 6, verse 1 to 3. The Bible says it seemed good to Darius who became king after Belshazzar to appoint over the kingdom satraps for who would be in charge throughout the kingdom and over the three uh, chief commissioners. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as you track to verse three, the Bible says, then this Daniel, because of the extraordinary spirit that, that was within him. Somebody say extraordinary. There was an extraordinary spirit that was inside of Daniel. The Bible says that he began to distinguish himself uh, amongst the commissioners and the satraps and the king planned uh, to appoint him upon, above every realm. Hallelujah. He planned to appoint him over the entire realm. Do you understand that there is an extraordinary spirit inside of you? And that is the spirit of excellence. This extraordinary spirit of excellence inside of you is what will promote you, is what will distinguish you like they distinguish Daniel, is what will set you apart amongst the other commissioners. That Somebody say, I receive an extraordinary spirit of excellence. I receive the extraordinary spirit of excellence. Hallelujah, somebody. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Somebody, as you comment in the comment section, I'm empowered for excellence. You begin to understand that one of the gems that made Joshua to take over the mantle of leadership from his master was the excellent spirit that he carried inside of him. The Bible, when you track with it, it shows you that Joshua excelled in all the matters that most of his age mates and contemporaries, meaning that your peers cannot match up with you when the spirit of excellence is in operation in your life. Uh, those who remain in the crowd cannot become excellent. Uh, make up your mind this morning that I rose and came forth to, to PVP to make sure that I separate myself from the crowd. Uh, I make sure that I'm a candidate to be separated from the crowd uh, because when I'm separated from the crowd, uh, I am anointed for excellence in life uh, because excellence is a private matter. Child of God, let me let you know uh, it is an excellent excellence is a private matter that does not need a public announcement when you have the spirit of excellence inside of you when you show up you show up in public and it announces you automatically it sets you apart and makes you extraordinary it makes you distinguished it makes people choose your business more than anybody somebody tell your neighbor i'm extraordinary talk to me the spirit of excellence that i'm tracking with this morning child of god will never permit you to do things at the level that others are comfortable with so the spirit of excellence does not work with comfort Mm, you're going to have to deny yourself. You're going to have to put in more hours. You're going to have to set yourself apart. You're going to have to remember that your why, your why is going to have to be bigger. You're going to have to remember where you come from and what you need to achieve. You're going to have to remember that my destiny is too big. I am having an extraordinary, excellent spirit inside of me. Talk to me. You cannot be flocking around with the multitude and achieve greatness, whether it is in business, whether it is in ministry. You can't be flocking around with the multitude and expect
expect uh, that your spouse is going to locate you. Separate yourself from the crowd. Tell your neighbor, separate yourself. Take yourself out of the crowd. Make yourself distinguishable. Make yourself recognizable. Make yourself renowned. Talk to me. Say, I have an extraordinary, excellent spirit inside of me. This is why Jesus kept on withdrawing with his disciples to himself at every point of every exploit. So for every anointing of exploit that you need, you're going to have to separate yourself. You're going to have to be private. You're going to have to be scarce to your friends. You're going to have to skip a, a few parties. You're going to have to speak a few, skip a few uh, uh, clubbing and all those things. You're going to have to set yourself apart and say, I'm a different student. I'm sorry, I cannot hang around with you just to smoke. I cannot hang around you just to be looking at the TV. Talk to me. Am I communicating to somebody? Somebody shout, I am powered for excellence. I am empowered for excellence. Your destiny is too big to mess around. Separate yourself from the crowd. Hallelujah. So he did not want to be carried away with songs of the crowd. He did not want to be carried away with songs of praises from the crowd because praise can limit you sometimes. Praise from men can make your head swell and you think you have arrived. I have not yet achieved, but this thing I do, that I press on towards the high calling at the mark of God, I call, I press forward to make sure that I triumph. I press forward to make sure that I win in this life. So Jesus knew very well that those who are shouting, hail, hail, at that problem, the same people who are saying you are awesome, the same people who are saying you are great, the same people who are your friends, Jesus knew that they were the same people people that were going to shout, uh, crucify him, crucify him. He knew he could not rely on the praises of men, uh, but he knew that he could rely on his God. Uh, he could uh, rely on the anointing that is extraordinary inside of him. He could in, uh, rely on the anointing of excellence. Somebody shout, I'm empowered to excel. Separate yourself from the crowd. Understand that, yes, they can praise you for a moment, but tomorrow you are replaceable. You are dispensable. So, but in God, you are indispensable. Talk to me, somebody. So, so if you're going to make sure that you are indispensable on this planet earth, you're going to have to make sure that you establish yourself with the extraordinary spirit of excellence. Facebook, am I communicating? Is your is your, your blood pressure still rising there on YouTube? Talk to me. Is your pulse still going? Somebody say, I'm empowered for excellence. Excellence, child of God, is necessary for anybody to become a useful vessel, for you to become a useful vessel, for you to matter in this life, for you to be invited into the right room. Excellence is necessary in the hands of the Almighty God. Your excellent spirit needs to be activated. Somebody pat yourself on the chest and say, Excellent spirit, activate. I activate this extraordinary excellent spirit inside of me right now. I activate you. Activate, activate, activate in the name of Jesus Christ. Excellent is what will release the gem inside of you. Let me put it like this G E M, it's like an emerald, it's like a precious gem. Hallelujah. It's like a precious stone. Talk to me. Hallelujah. Excellence. It releases the gem inside of you. It releases the potentials that are inside of you. It questions the potentials that are inside of you. It questions the talent that is inside of you. Because when you have done something, you said, I did it for 100%. Maybe I should have pushed for 20%, 120%. Maybe I should have put for 200%. I feel that there's another 200% inside of me. I can do this better. I've got an extraordinary, excellent spirit inside of me. Oh, Shakadi Masonda. Mm. You want to be useful in this life. You want to be relevant in this life. You want to be relevant in the bigger scheme of things. Somebody shout, I'm empowered to excel. That is what is going to qualify you in and be relevant in the scheme of things. Excellence, the extraordinary excellent spirit that you came to receive this morning. It is what will put you on the edge of God's program. Hallelujah. It is what will make you a formidable force. It is what will make you a difference between other ministers. It is what will make you a difference in your work place. It is what will make you a difference in other parenting. Hallelujah. Other parents can be parents, but when you parent in excellence. Uh, Jesus, talk to me. You understand that you are a formidable force. Uh, hallelujah. My Bible tells me as I'm trekking with the word, I go to Hebrews chapter 1 verse 9. It says, thou has loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness uh, above thy fellows. Do you understand what the book of Hebrews is saying to us this morning? The word is saying that God has anointed us with the oil of gladness 
that sets us apart above our fear peers, that sets us apart above our friends, our colleagues. He said, above our fellows, any fellow that around you, there is an anointing for gladness that e escalates you. You are automatically on an elevation of escalation. Somebody sh shout to somebody, I'm escalated, I'm escalating, I'm moving up, I'm moving up. Hallelujah. There is no going down here. I am not going down. I cannot go down. I could not go down. It's impossible to go down. It's impossible to go down. I have to go up with the oil of gladness. Talk to me, somebody. Hey, excellence, this excellence this morning. Father, we rose to come into contact with the anointing for excellence this morning. We know that it is the anointing for excellence, O oh Lord, that will empower us to do exploits in our life in the name of Jesus. Exploits in life, child of God, have never been a function only of higher education or qualification. Excellence and exploits have never been a function of only popularity. You may be famous, you may be an influencer or an influenza. Either way, it is through the spirit of excellence that will keep you there. It is the spirit of influence that sets apart the other influencers from the influencers. Talk to me. When you carry the presence of God, it will release the spirit of excellence inside of you, which in turn will give you the wisdom that you require to access the mysteries that you want in life. Hallelujah. I believe last night you were talking about the mysteries of life. You want to access the mysteries of life. You need the anointing for excellence. Talk to me, somebody. You are escalated, Emma, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Happy, I see your escalation. I see your elevation. You are in that elevator, press penthouse. Make sure you are going all the way up. When you get to the penthouse, you look into that penthouse ceiling. You say, the sky is not the limit. This ceiling is not my limitation. In the name of Jesus, I am going up to the clouds. I am going up higher to the skies. Talk to me. Somebody ready to be empowered for excellence excellence this morning. I am empowered for excellence. Make sure you are shouting it and you are declaring it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So you begin to understand that the presence of God gives you every insight. It gives you deep insight. The presence of God this morning is going to give you deep wisdom for any situation that you will face in life. Every difficult situation that you will face in life. Any circumstances that you will face in life. You understand that through his presence you are a master over those things because of the excellent spirit that he has put inside of you because of the oil of gladness, because of the excellence, the extraordinary spirit that he has put inside of you. You cannot have an excellent spirit, child of God, and lack understanding. Do you understand that you are not stupid? You are not a hot cop. You are not dumb. You are not slow. Somebody shout, I have an excellent spirit inside of me. Somebody shout, I am anointed for excellence in the name of Jesus. Your level of knowledge will begin, begin to command the attention of all because you understand I'm not stupid. I am not incommunicado. My every brain cell is working fine. My committees are aligned. The board members in my head, in my medulla are aligned with the anointing of excellence. Therefore, I begin to command attention in the rooms I enter. I command attention in the boardrooms I enter. I command and attention on every altar I step on because the devil knows that I have stepped. So the line of Judah has stepped on the altar and they must shut up now in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, I have the anointing for excellence. I am empowered to excel in the name of Jesus Christ. You understand that when you command the attention of all and sundry, mm, you become, as we saw the queen of Sheba came visiting King Solomon. Hallelujah. Excellence, excellence, excellence. Somebody shout excellence. How am I doing for time? I'm still too fast. Let me slow down for those of you who are still coming. Are you, when, when, when excellence comes inside of you, you will even type faster in Jesus name. Kaya baya sat kade. Hey, what is this excellence? Father, my father, on this anointed altar of protocol breaking prayers, I receive my empowerment to excel. Nobody will argue with you after this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, may excellence begin to torment you and follow you everywhere you go. In the name of Jesus, let me go back to teach a little bit before I go into prayers. Excellence should be your goal, child of God. Excellence is a goal that 
that you should strive for. Excellence is the attainment of the highest level of perfection in anything you do. Do not be mocked by people who are saying, you are not perfect. You are not perfect. You don't have to be perfect. Listen, pursue excellence as if you are pursuing perfection. Because by their standards, their perfection was even on 50%. So when you pursue 100% perfection, you know that excellence is released. Am I communicating to somebody this morning? Oh, So your goal should be excellent. Father, that is, I, I understand. I, I have the understanding of the times. I'm like the sons of Issachar. I know that this grace and favor thing has to manifest itself in excellence. Am I communicating somebody? I'm empowered to excel. Somebody type it in the comment section. I'm empowered to excel. Are you tapping on that screen? Are you depopulating hell? Hallelujah, somebody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. When you have excellence as a goal, it means you are operating on a class of your own. Those who do things the way others do, you don't become excellent. You can't be a copycat. You can't want to start a business because you're, you want to do fat cake because your neighbor... That's fed cake. What if your fed cakes don't taste nicely? Did God anoint you for the fed cake business? Oh, Jesus. Did God anoint you to bake those cakes? So, God, God give me a spirit of excellence. Anoint my talents. Anoint my giftings. So that whatever business venture I go into, let, it be, let me be doing it excellently. I'm anointed for excellence. Excellence is my portion. I'm empowered for excellence. Hallelujah. Excellence is what is going to set your business aside. When there's three businesses on the same street that are doing the same thing, talk to me, somebody. You cannot do what others are doing. You have to be willing to go the extra mile. You have to identify your goal and begin to pursue it with vigor. Joseph understood this very early in his life and he worked. it worked continuously for him. He made sure that the spirit of excellence, the extraordinary spirit that was inside of him is going to manifest for him. That was the reference point for him in a strange land. Wherever you are placed, there is no excuses. There is no room for excuses. If it worked for Joseph, it will work for you. Daniel understood this early and he focused on excellence and he remained a formidable force in the reign of three kings. Three kings, you survived. You survived the, the first parliament, second parliament, third parliament. So there must be something that sustains you there. The kings were leaving him behind, but the grace of God upon his life made him relevant under different circumstances, different kings. You see, that is why in certain workplaces, bosses can change, CEOs can change, but nobody gets for, to fire you. You remain. You keep on excelling. Others say it is impossible to grow in this place. It is impossible to be anything. No, it's a lie. The excellent spirit is not inside of them. They are not activating. They've gotten too familiar with the, uh, their surroundings. They've gotten too comfortable. They want things just to be given to them just like that. May you never cease to operate and activate the spirit of excellence. As you go to your workplaces this morning, you will operate with excellence. When the customer walks in, you will be the one with the broadest smile. Your smile is the one that will even give that person, you know, that edge to say they want to tip you and give you money. They will just be a blessing just because they say, oh, you've got a beautiful, inviting smile. Hallelujah. So three kings left Daniel behind. But the grace of God was upon his life. Oh, yaba kod, yaba sunda. You stand as a rock and you cannot be shaken. You cannot be shaken. You cannot, you move jobs because you want to. Not because anybody sh pushes you. Talk to me, somebody. The spirit of excellence will help you to concentrate on your assignment, child of God, because distractions will surely come. However, the spirit of God can only come from God. The spirit of excellence can only come from God. If you don't know your God, there is no way that you do exploits. I'm now tracking with the word again. I'm on Daniel chapter 11, 32. Those who know their God, God, they shall be strong and they shall be doing exploits. Know your God. 
Tell your neighbor, I will do exploits. I will do exploits in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. From this moment, as you surrender totally to God, you will begin to experience the miraculous in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will begin to experience the miraculous in the name of Jesus Christ. Give me four minutes. Let me check the word and then we start to pray and we start to send missile ballistic excellence breaking, commanding, pursuing, everything. There is a scripture in the Old Testament. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 13 says, And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And you will be above only and you will not be beneath. If you will hearken to the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command you this day to observe them and to do them, you will be the head. You will be made the head by God and not the tail. You will be above and not beneath. You will be above only and not beneath. Even if your friend loves you, they secretly wish to be above you. But there is a word. Mm. There is a prophetic word this morning. It says, you shall be the head and not the tail. You will be above and not beneath. Regardless, I don't know. There's a thousand and one billion something people here on this planet Earth. They may be wanting the same thing, but all I know is that I'm waking up this morning and I'm moving with the anointing of excellence and God has given me this word. I'm taking it. I don't know whether I'm competing with other born again children of God, but all I know, he said, I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. Hallelujah. He says, if only I will hearken. What does hearken mean? It means I will hear and do. This is you. This is you hearing the word of God and you are going to be released to go and do. You are released to go do what you are hearing me say. He says, if you will hear and do the commandments of the Lord, if you will hear and do what Pastor Fortune is teaching you through the word, then you will make your way prosperous. Hallelujah. Your way shall be prosperous because you will be following my commandments. Am I communicating to somebody? So it is the desire of God that all his children excel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Excellence is the heritage of Christ. Talk to me, somebody. The Bible was talking about Daniel as I enumerated just now. Daniel had an excellent spirit. God, let me receive that same spirit that was in Daniel. I receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to succeed through excellence in the name of Jesus Christ. I am excelling. I am the head in all my endeavors. It means you are going to be the head in all your endeavors, in anything that you do. God gave us this word this morning that we are going to be the head and not the tail. We are going to be above and not beneath. Whenever you are, wherever you are, wherever, it, how, whichever situation, however you are operating, you have to excel in life. No devil can harm you. You have to walk around with the attitude that no devil can harm you. No devil can take away your headship. No, being a head means that you are leading. You are the precedent setter. You are the one who's setting the pace. The trends has been seen from you. Talk to me, somebody in your business. Go and be creative and have an excellent spirit. Be the one who introduces things. Do do not sleep on the job. Wake up and go and, ex and expand your memories. Go back and expand your skill set. Go and, and expand your, your talents. Grow. You will grow in stature. You will grow in favor with God and men. But you're going to have to make sure you activate the extraordinary excellent spirit that is inside of you. Talk to me. My prayer for you this morning is that you shall not fail, but the, 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 the spirit of excellence shall be activated in you and it shall work in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is important, child of God, that you know that this anointing to excel, a grace to always to be at the top and never at the bottom, it is working inside of you. It is inside of you. So somebody shout, activate. I'm just here this morning to activate it. Activate, activate. No mountain can block your progress, Otsepe. No mountain can block your progress. When this anointing of excellence rests upon you, your success and prosperity becomes inevitable. It is inevitable. There is no way about it. There is no roadblock that is going to block you from excelling in the mighty name of Jesus. When this anointing to excel rests upon you, no devil can bring you down. In Daniel chapter 5 verse 12, we see that the anointing on Daniel, they tried to bring him down, but they failed. They tried to bring down David, they failed. They 
tried to bring down Joseph, they failed. And even our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ, they tried to bring him down, they failed. He actually popped up three days later. And they said, oh, even in death, we cannot conquer him. Talk to me, somebody. Oh, Sheke Nayama Sokota. This anointing of excellence is operating. Activate, activate, activate. This anointing of excellence will make you unstoppable. This anointing of excellence will make you undefeatable. Somebody shout, I'm undefeatable. Somebody shout, I'm unstoppable. Somebody shout, I'm undefeatable. I'm unstoppable in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rabba Shokoti Yamasunda. I rose to come on this altar this morning to come into contact with the anointing of excellence. Father, I came to contact this anointing through the protocol breaking prayers we are making this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, empower me to succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Rabba Shokondi Yamasunda. The altar of prayer is where you contact the anointing for excellence. You're unstoppable, Emma. Gilebochilo, you're unstoppable. Hilda, you're unstoppable. Margaret, you're unstoppable. Facebook, those of you on Facebook and YouTube who are watching me, you're unstoppable. It takes a praying believer to carry an excellent spirit. Daniel was a man of prayer. No wonder he was a man of wisdom. If you are a man and a woman of prayer, you become a man and a woman of wisdom. Talk to me, somebody. If you want to excel in the area of calling, you must prepare yourself. You prepare yourself spiritually and in every other way that you need to prepare yourself. Success with God, it means you will soon be gone. So therefore, this morning, Father, we come, we understand that this success operates when we get to God. So we are here to get God so that we are unstoppable. We will not be gone before our time, before we manifest our greatness in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Father, my Father, those who are listening to the sound of my voice, Father God, they came not to play. They came to come into contact with this anointing of excellence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I declare and I decree. Everybody at the sound of my voice, Lord, has, is activated right now. We are activated for the anointing to excel in the name of Jesus. I refuse to allow my angels of blessings to depart without blessing me. Let's begin to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, these Egyptians we will not see anymore. We are unstoppable in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we activate our angels who are supposed to bless us, oh God. Let them not depart from our side without blessing us. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we paralyze every single form of aggression to our star in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, shakatakadia. Somebody type in the comment section, I'm empowered to excel. I'm empowered to excel. Let me wipe my eyes so that I can see you properly. Oh, I'm anointed to excel. I'm empowered to excel. Lord, make us preferable. That is your declaration now. The Lord shall make you preferred. You are a preferred candidate. Your testimony is a preferred testimony. Oh, my father, my father, as I begin to pray today, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare that everybody at the sound of my voice, they are a preferred candidate for testimony this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the power for divine excellence shall fall upon each and every single person who's at the sound of my voice. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare right now, receive the the power, receive the anointing for excellence. The anointing for divine excellence is falling upon every single person who's listening to the sound of my voice. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to the power that are creating a visionless life for our destiny's Lord. Let them be arrested in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare any power that is trying to arrest you, that is trying to arrest your vision, that is trying to arrest your de destiny, right now it is arrested in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you. We declare and we decree that, Lord, this morning we receive the anointing for supernatural lifting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We decree and we declare that we are supernaturally lifted. We are being supernaturally lifted. Somebody decreed and prayed along with me. I'm being supernaturally lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. Every single pollution that has been preventing excellence in our life be flushed out in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we command every single thing that has been polluting the spirit of excellence in our life uh, begin to be flushed out in
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we arouse this morning. We arise this morning and set above us, set, set us above all oppositions, oh God. In the name of Jesus, as we have arisen, oh God, we decree and we declare that we are set above, Lord, all forms of opposition in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Shakad Hiamasonda, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, oh Lord, empower me to excel. Oh Lord, empower me to excel. Do I have believers who are saying you are being supernaturally lifted? Lebo, Leah, you are you are being supernaturally lifted. Nshibua Rapasa, you are supernaturally lifted. Overcomer, Mama Jester, you are lifted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, empower Otepeng to to to, uh, to excel in the name of Jesus. Father Magta Mashangu is being empowered to excel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Carabo, you are empowered to excel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let the excellent spirit cleave upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask that the excellent spirit cleave upon us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we rise this morning. We say any power plotting to attack our godliness in our life, it scatters in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, as we have arisen on this altar of protocol breaking prayers, prayers, Lord, let grant us the power to live in excellence in the name of Jesus Christ. Grant us the power to live in excellence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Dirajang, you will live in excellence in the name of Jesus Christ. Godliness and righteousness shall be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Not all of you are rising above your peers in the name of Jesus Christ. The gladness oil of joy will rise in you and overflow in Jesus' mighty name. Talk to me, somebody who is ready to receive the blessings from God. Oh Lord, we rise this morning. We say, empower us for excellence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the life be free of errors. Let our lives be free of mistakes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of faultless living pro process in me. Possess me right now. Every single spirit of faultlessness, spirit of excellence, possess me now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me be an example to my generation as I declare, oh Lord, empower me for excellence. I am become exemplary to my generation. I break down every power of error. I break down every power of mistake. I break down every power contend contending against my excellence in the name of Jesus. No color any power contending against your excellence is broken in the name of Jesus. I break down any power that is contending with your excellent spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Excellence is your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Happy 23. Excellence is your portion. Kathy S. Excellence is your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. You will move and operate in excellence from this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. From this point, wherever you are, if it's evening tonight, right now, this is your point of contact. Your extraordinary spirit of excellence is activated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The excellent spirit of God possesses you now. It will possess you now. Begin to possess. Begin to possess them. Excellent spirit of God. Begin to possess all of us right now. In the name of Jesus, we move and operate with excellence. We move and operate with excellence and speed and finesse. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we receive a divine preference. When you receive the spirit of excellence and it's activated inside of you, child of God, understand that divine preference is your portion in the name of Jesus. Tell your neighbor, I'm divinely preferred. It's not my fault. I'm not being braggadocious. I have divine preference. Divine preference, oh God. We receive divine preference. Whether the devil likes it or not, I'm divinely preferred. Whether the devil likes it or not, I'm divinely preferred. As I'm divinely preferred, my papers are divinely preferred. My projects are divinely preferred. My proposals are divinely preferred. My children are divinely preferred. Admission to any school that I want. I'm divinely preferred. Somebody shout, I am divinely preferred. I hear the Lord wanting us to rest on this one. He says, I am divinely preferred. Somebody receive divine preference, divine preference, divine preference. I declare and I decree divine preference. You are divinely preferred. You are divinely preferred. You are divinely preferred in the name of Jesus. Oh God, make me number one. 
Somebody declare it there as you are being divinely prepared. The Lord is making you number one amongst your contemporaries. I am not here to contend with my contemporaries. I'm not here. I'm not a match for my contemporaries. I'm not a match for my friends. I'm in a class of my own. I'm not competing with you, neighbor. So chill, run your lane, neighbor. Understand that I am number one. God, make me number one. Let the spirit of excellence escalate me to become number one in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. Somebody declare, I am number one. God, make me number one. God, make me number one. God, make me number one. Hey, the spirit of excellence will operate in every area of your life. Oh, in the name of Jesus, Kariyama Sonda, the spirit of excellence will operate in your family. Your children are divinely preferred. Yes, I saw that. I saw that declaration and I caught it and I tapped it into it in the name of Jesus. My children are divinely preferred in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the schools, in the academic everywhere they go. They are divinely preferred and protected in the name of Jesus. Every evil handwriting that is contrary to a life of excellence be erased now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every evil hand that is trying to write the opposite of divine preference. Figure, God bless you in the name of Jesus. It is erased from your life. Figure, in the name of Jesus. Anything that is not planted by God in your life, it is becoming uprooted now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hey, the spirit of excellence will operate in every area of your life. Oh, Shakura Maya Sandadi Amasunda. Somebody shout, I'm divinely preferred. I operate in the spirit of excellence in the name of Jesus. I neutralize every single problem, every single problem that wherever it originates from, from my past mistakes that says I will not be excellent. I declare and I decree that I'm excellent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm checking you, Facebook. I'm checking your pulse. Are you still breathing with me? Mm. There is no spirit of aggression that is enough to take down your excellence in the name of Jesus Christ. Your star shall not be taken down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everyone that is, whatever your past mistakes were right now, that those past mistakes will not militate against your spirit of excellence in the name of Jesus. We neutralize them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, bring out honey from the rock right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let honey come out from my mouth when I speak and address people. When I present, I'd let honey come from my mouth. Let sweet words that would make me divinely preferred come from my mouth. When I go to that job interview, let honey words come out of my mouth. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of anti-breakthrough designed against your life shall not prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of anti-breakthrough that has been trying to say you are not repairable. The Lord is repairing every gate that is broken. The hedges are being protected and, and rebuild right now. The walls are being rebuilt right now. The Lord is fortifying you. The Lord is saying, I am defending you. The Lord is saying that I'm the one that goes before you. The Lord is saying, I'm the one that will fight this battle. You will not have to fight in this battle. Everything, every satanic attack is paralyzed this morning in the name of Jesus. Or Yamasunda, Kiyamasunda, your destiny shall not be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we speak to every unborn child that is being carried by us right now. Our unborn children to come right Right now, we declare and we decree that their destinies shall, shall not be destroyed in the womb. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we come against every form of satanic attack right now that will militate against the spirit of excellence that is supposed to operate in their life. Right now, they are nullified in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord, that as we rise and activate the spirit of excellence this morning, Lord, that spirit of excellence will help us and empower us. We continue to trample upon the enemy by advancement. We will advance and progress. We will advance and develop ourselves. We will advance advance and be set apart right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray along with me. I trample upon the enemy right now. I declare advancement in the name of Jesus Christ. I trample upon the enemy of my advancement. I unseat all evil powers sitting upon my promotion in the name of Jesus. Any evil power sitting on your promotion, right now they are being unseated. We unseat you in the name of Jesus Christ. They've taken away chairs for me because if you have a chair in your house, hold that chair up and say, I unseat you. You evil power sitting upon my promotion, lift it up and put it down and say, I unseat you. Shake off that chair right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ah, 
now begin to claim back your inheritance right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everywhere my inheritance is, wherever it is sitting in the wrong hands, in the name of Jesus, it is sitting in the wrong hands. I unseat you now. Come back to me right now in the name of Jesus. Some of you, you know that your parents left you an inheritance, but other siblings have been fighting you. Other people, not even siblings, some of you have been fought by uncles and aunties that have no claim to your inheritance. Right now, if we claim it back in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, empower me for excellence. Oh Lord, empower me for excellence. Empower me for excellence. Uproot from my life every evil thing that is against my advancement. Somebody speak to your advancement. Speak to any power that is militating against your advancement. Father, I uproot every single power, every Every single spirit, every single person that is saying that I will not advance. I unseat you now. I unseat you now. I paralyze you now. Oh, It is uprooted in the name of Jesus. It can never be planted again in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, as I ask and I say and I declare this morning that you empower me with excellence. Plant good things in my life that will cause me to excel in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord plant good things as you receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, good things be planted in my life. Good things be planted in my life. Good things be planted in my life and flourish. Let the seeds not remain in the ground. Let the seeds begin to flourish. Let the seeds begin to come up. Lord, begin to nourish every seed that I have ever planted in the ground. Lord, if I am and, and mistakenly planted in the wrong ground, Lord, let it, let me uproot it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. It will flourish in any event. In the name of Jesus, O Karaba Shonda, we uproot the tears around us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We claim supernatural wisdom to answer all questions by this anointing of excellence. Lord, give me the mindset and the understanding and the wisdom to understand supernatural wisdom, Lord, to answer every question that I've been having. Hey, those of you who are going to write exams this morning or even in the near future, in the mighty name of Jesus, receive supernatural wisdom. Hallelujah. You will be able to answer every question in your academics, in your modules, your assignments. Let your assignments carry an anointing of an A++ plus 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord shall cause an advancement to come upon you this morning as you are listening to the sound of my voice. Wherever we have exhibited occasional doubts, oh God, we uproot the doubting spirit. Lord, we, doubt, we do not doubt you. Lord, we are not having the Thomas doubting spirit in us anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ, we activate the excellent spirit inside of us in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind every spirit that is manipulating our beneficiaries against me in Jesus' mighty name. This morning, you said, Lord, you load us daily with benefits. Therefore, we rise this morning to receive our daily benefits right now. Any power that is militating against our beneficiaries, whatever we were supposed to receive today, Father, we come against them right now in the name of Jesus. We bind them right now. Anything that is manipulating our blessings, we bind them right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, ah, I'm empowered to prosper. I'm empowered for excellence. I'm anointed for excellence. Hey, empower me for excellence, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Shakara. Are we still tracking together? Facebook, how are you doing? Are we still tracking together? In the mind of Jesus, that is where I reside. God is mindful of me and you. God is looking at ways on how they will bless us. Shakodia masokata kadia. Protocol breaking prayer at altar. Speak for me. I'm empowered to excel. I'm empowered to excel. I'm empowered to excel. I have come to exchange on this altar. That spirit of laziness, that spirit of stagnation, that spirit of slowdown. I receive an empowerment to excel in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I remove my name from the book of those who see no goodness. I will see goodness in my life and I will taste it. Not only will you be a window buyer buying from the window, you are just looking. You know that thing when you enter a shop and you say, I was just looking. No, may you taste the goodness. I will not just look. I will taste. I will not just see excellence. I will taste excellence. Tell your neighbor, I will taste excellence. You cloud. That has been blocking our sunlight. You cloud. That has been blocking our moon. 
You cloud that has been blocking our glory. You cloud that has been blocking our breakthrough. Disperse now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will taste excellence, Miss M. Otsepeng, you will taste excellence. Margaret, you will taste excellence. Hilda, you will taste excellence. As you continue to type in the comment section. Kayaba. I need to read some names so that I bless you now. Martha, you will taste excellence. Ayesha, you will taste excellence in the name of Jesus. Every form of cloud that is trying to block your sunlight, that is trying to block your glory, that is trying to block your breakthrough, right now it is dispersed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil cloud, disappear now. Begin to pray that prayer. Every evil cloud, disappear now. My sunshine has come. My sunlight has come. My glory is activated. My breakthrough is activated. Every evil cloud disappear now. Let wonderful changes begin to manifest in my life right now. Begin to show your lot right now. Manifest, manifest wonderful changes, wonderful breakthroughs, wonderful testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. We reject the spirit of the tail. You said, Lord, we are the head and not the tail. I reject the spirit of the tail. Begin to reject the spirit of the tail right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I reject the spirit of the tail. In the name of Jesus. Father God, you are bringing us into favor with God and men. Father God, you will bring us to favor to all those that we come into contact with this today in and before. In Jesus' mighty name, we declare and we decree, Lord, that we will advance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We reject the spirit of the tail. I am not the tail. I am not the tail. I am not the tail. I am being advanced. I'm coming to, into contact with people who are advancing me. People who are advancing me, they are coming into contact with me. They are advancing, advancing me. I reject the spirit of the tail. I am not the tail. Mm -mm. Spirit of advancement, speak for me. PBP, accelerate my advancement in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, cause a substitution to remove the tail spirit and make me the head. Cause a substitution spirit to come upon me right now. The substitution of the head anointing. The head anointing is coming forth. It's substituting that tail spirit in the name of Jesus. Miss Boo, you are blessed. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, we reject the spirit of the tail. We claim the spirit of the head in the name of Jesus Christ. We reject the spirit of the tail. We claim the spirit of the head in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil record that has been planted by the devil in anyone's mind against our advancement right now, shattered to pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody who has planted gossip about us, anybody who has spoken evil about us, anybody who is trying to block advancement for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, scatter to pieces right now. Let that mind that they put inside that person who's supposed to advance you, shatter to pieces right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody who tried to block you, anybody who gossiped about you, Anybody who has been praying and stabbing you in the back, let them scatter to pieces right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, empower me to excel. Oh Lord, empower me to excel. Oh Lord, empower me to excel. Oh Lord, cause the transfer. Cause the transfer. Oh Lord, transfer. Remove or oh, change all human agents that are bent on stopping my advancement. Lord, cause them to be transferred out of my department. Cause them to be transferred out of my workplace. Anybody who is so who is bent on stopping my advancement. Oh Lord, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, those who have said that they, you will not advance, the Lord is removing them. The Lord is transfer, ca 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 causing them to be transferred in the name of Jesus Christ. Let, cause them to be removed, oh God. Let them be removed from our sphere of influence in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, smoothen our paths in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare and decree we are the top in the name of Jesus. Let your hand of fire place us to the top, oh God, and maintain us at the top. I receive the anointing to excel above my contemporaries in the name of Jesus. Somebody begin to declare it right now as we close. I receive the anointing to excel. I receive the anointing to excel in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, you will excel. You will be above only and not beneath. You will excel. 
you will excel, you will excel, activate, activate, activate that excellent spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for this meeting this morning. I thank you, Lord, for this altar of protocol breaking prayers. Lord, as we have gathered, Lord, we thank you, Lord, we have received the excellent spirit in us. God, may it start manifesting right now from this moment as we go forth in the name of Jesus, as they continue to receive the anointing to excel, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace to what us and the members of our family and everyone who is beloved in us, Lord. We thank you for your mercy in Jesus' mighty name as we commit ourselves into your able hands that is causing us to prosper. Lord, we declare that we have an excellent spirit in us and glory shall come upon us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that we have received the spirit of wisdom, O oh God. We have received the spirit of knowledge, O oh God. We have received the spirit of understanding that we will interpret dreams, O oh God, like dead Daniel, Joseph, and Jesus in Jesus' Jesus mighty name lord we will have the anointing to be having the answers to the questions of to the answers to whatever question that men would have let us be the solution to whatever problems that people have in the mighty name of jesus christ father we pray and declare that throughout our lifetime and in this month of may in our 31 days of grace and favor in the mighty name of jesus christ lord the world shall hear of us the lord shall acknowledge your glory in our lives in jesus mighty name you will renown us oh god you will make us renowned in the the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare and pray that the light of God shall continue to shine upon us. It will continue to shine brighter and radiate in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. How am I doing for time? I'm still okay. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we declare and pray for the gladness, O oh God. We declare and pray for favor, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you, Lord, that we shall be preferred. We shall be approved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are declared, you are approved, and you are favored. I said three things. Make sure you are declaring them with me. You are preferred, you are approved, and you are favored. You are preferred, you are approved, and you are favored. You are preferred, you are approved, and you are favored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anything that you will declare, you will be approved in it in Jesus' mighty name. You are you are approved, you are preferred, you are approved in Jesus' mighty name. You are favored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will have everlasting success and victory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You are preferred. You are favored. Those of you on YouTube and Facebook, thank you so much for joining me this morning. I want to say God bless you. And I just want to quickly see the names here. Vimbai, God bless you. Snare, Crystal Light, God bless you. You are favored in Jesus' mighty name. Um, Vimbai, you are lifted in Jesus' mighty name. You will taste excellence in the name of Jesus. Every single evil cloud has disappeared from you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless those of you. Let me just go check the comments also on YouTube. Hallelujah. Bless you. God bless you, Apostle Mara, for the work you are doing in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. May the Lord expand your territories in Jesus' mighty name, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Guys, we meet tomorrow at 5 a.m. South Africa can stand the time those of you who are on tiktok please make sure you follow the host account you also click on the notification bell even on facebook as you know apostle is building his new page on facebook make sure you are giving him a follow you can also follow me on my page as well fortunately online we have different content sometimes make sure you go back to the youtube you watch the replay and you pray along with us as well make sure you connect those of you who want to join part of my team that part of that says 13 that day with that with the heart shape there you make sure you just join that team also on mara official the same because begin to intercede for us please we love you so much and we are always praying for you we're checking on you and anytime you need anything just inbox us and all those of you who are also on instagram you can inst you can follow me on instagram i'll follow you immediately i've seen though i've followed everybody i'm up to date you can inbox me it reaches me on my um whatsapp i believe there's a link for my whatsapp somewhere on facebook as well it's because we cannot give whatsapp numbers on tiktok but either way make sure you don't miss tonight 10 p.m with apostle mara okay make sure you are coming for the word power impact with uh, apostle mara tonight tomorrow 5 a.m don't miss it it's a date i love you so much i'll enjoy i'll give it to you just now fortune l online if you go to my profile on um tiktok there's a link for my youtube there's also a link for um instagram as well it's fortune l online it's my name, Fortune, and my first letter of my surname, L Online, Fortune L Online. That's the only account I have. And guys, please make sure if you're joining my TikTok account, join the TikTok account that is above 50,000 50, or 55,000. 
because there are people who clone my account sometimes. So please make sure you are following the right person. Okay. And I do endeavor to make sure that I post a video every single day. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. So as you are following, let me say goodbye again to the people on Facebook. I love you so much. Sne, I know you are working too hard in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord give you strength in Jesus' mighty name. Vimbai, you are blessed. Everybody else that I've not read your name on Facebook, um, it's because there's a lot of activity, as you know. But I love you guys. 5 a.m. tomorrow. See you again. God bless you.